Hello, good evening class. Hello. Welcome, Veronica. Fernando. Hola, chicos, ¿me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, class. How are you, guys? ¿Qué tal lo pasaron Hi. esta semana? Very nice. Did you rest a lot? ¿Descansaron mucho? Uh, on Sunday, yes. On Saturday, no. Do you work the whole day? No, I was in a belly dance show. Oh, you went to the air show. How was it? Yes. I'm dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you dance? Yes, I dance, belly dance. I think, well, I don't know. There was a, a probably, um, I don't know, a disco mobile or something like that. No, música es árabe. Danza del vientre. Really? So were you part of the activities? Yes, I had class uh, on Monday to Thursday and Tuesday. Every week. Every week. So do you teach? I had classes uh, on five. 5 p.m. at 7 p.m. Really? So yes. I think you're studying at the um, city hall? No. Because <laughs> they have a, they have something like, I don't know, it's a program. They teach people how to no, dance. It's hobby. it's hobby for me. Okay. And you, Renee, how was your weekend? Um, good evening. Very good. Very good. Uh, and practice in mountain bike. Oh, okay. Yes, and, and good things. Every routine. Okay. So where do you go to practice? El Boquerón? Yes. Yes, uh, in Eco Parque El Espino. Oh, yes, you mentioned. So that is a huge place. You know? Yes, I know it. I got lost uh, once. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's really big. <laughs> I I have a uh, uh, very much. Okay, yeah, it's a beautiful place. So you enjoy sightseeing. <clears throat> okay, we're going to start. I'm just waiting for. Let's see. And El Marlene, hello, Elena, Clelia, Diana, hello, ladies. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, ladies. How are you? How's it going? Hello. I'm fine, thank you. And you, teacher? Very nice. Ready for the class. <laughs> I was just waiting for you guys. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to start. Uh, this is our session number nine. So that is correct. <laughs> and look at this. We have the following agenda. Let's see. Veronica, please, can you help us reading the agenda? Yes. Session nine. Number one, warming up. Two, class objective. Three, free task will and will like. Four, task preparation, exercise. Five, task conversation. Six, wrap up. Seven, assignment. Okay. Perfect. So let's start with the class. In today's class, we're going to study a little bit about the uh, modal and uh, an auxiliary verb and modal verb would and would like. And we're going to have some practice as uh, we always do, right? So just to start, uh, I'm going to show you an activity 
And we have the following instructions for this. So we're going to work together. I'm going to divide the class into, as in the previous classes or activities really similar to this one. And we're going to practice uh, with a game. So it's not a conversation, actually, it's a game. And we're going to review what we studied in the previous class. So in the previous class, we studied a little bit. Remember the topic? Yes, so so. Do you remember that? Okay, awesome. Look at this. Um, I want you to pay attention to your number. And you have to uh, think about a possible answer for the picture. So I'm just going to show you. Well, let's see. I'm going to divide the teams into first. And later, I'm going to help you in order to um, complete one of the sentences. Mm, okay. Veronica Burgos, Ana Marlene, Carlos Roberto, Carmen Elena, and Clelia, you're going to be team number one. Okay. Elena, ready? Clelia, ready? Diana, you ready? Yes. Turn on that camera. I cannot see you, ladies. Let's see. Fernando, Julio, Lady, Oscar, you're going to be team number two. Okay. Okay. And we have Miguel. Miguel, uh, which team did I assign you? Team one or two, Miguel? Where is Miguel? Miguel, Miguel, can you hear me, Miguel? Your microphone. It's mute. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Okay, so I think you belong to team one. Okay, I am team one. Okay, awesome. So again, I'm going to repeat that again. Veronica, Marlene, Miguel, Carlos, Carmen, Elena, Clelia, Stella, and Diana. You're going to be team one. Fernando, Julio, okay, Lady, Nilton, Oscar, Rafael, and Rosa. You're going to be team number two. Okay? Got it, guys? Ready? Say yes. Okay? Yes. yes. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna start. Team one, please select one card number and later on, I'm going to explain a little bit about what you're going to do. Team one, please pick a number. 11. 11, okay. So what might you do after class? So you have to think about possibility. So what might you do after class? Team one, I need one person or two. What might you do after class? Anybody? An answer. I might. I might? Yes, continue. I might, I might, I, I do uh, my homework. Okay, I might do my homework. Awesome, let's see. So let's check one possibility, free answer. So that's what you have to do, answer the questions. Let's see, team two, please go ahead and pick a number, I'm team two. Six, okay, so you're gonna take 15 points. <laughs> From the very beginning, they are starting to steal in some Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, team one, go ahead, please give me a number. No. Can you repeat the number, team one? Three. Three, okay. Look at this. My brother is at a restaurant and he feels a little hungry. So what's the possibility that may or might happen? So think about an answer. My brother is at a restaurant and he feels a little hungry. Team, team one, please help your classmate. 
what I have to do is not it's not answer. No, it's you have to think about possibility and you have to use may or might. So what's going to happen? We have this situation and we have to think about um, any possibility that is going to happen since uh well since that we have this situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. My my brother. My brother is at a restaurant and he feels a little hungry. He may or he might what? He might eat. He might so eat or he so may much. eat so much. Uh -huh. He may or he might. He may. He may. Okay, let's He's check. Supposed Yes, my brother may buy some food. Okay, awesome. Let's see team two, please select any number. Nine. Nine. Okay, ladies. So what might you drink about tonight? Any answer, guys, team? So what might you drink about tonight? Any idea? I might drink about my new I car. <laughs> I might drink about a travel in London. <laughs> okay, let's see. Any other answer? Rosa, any idea? What might you drink about tonight? Hola, me escucha? Yes. I might bring about uh, travel in London. Okay, about living in London, okay, or traveling to London. Awesome. Oh. Very good. Let's see, team one, go ahead. Pick a number. Number one. Number one, okay. It's cold outside, but James isn't wearing a jacket. He might or he might. It's cool, so, but change. So what's it's going to happen to happen. James? He may take a, a current, how do you say, grip, current? He may get a cold. Get a, get a, he get may get a cold. Mm -hmm. Or, or the a flu, a flu. A flu. What else? It's cold outside, but James isn't, isn't wearing a jacket. Let's check. James might get sick. Okay. Let's see, team two, please pick a number. Five. Okay, five. My class starts soon, but I'm not sure where the classroom is. Any idea, guys? Think about possibility based on this situation. For example, I might. In my, in my class, hmm. for example, I might miss. I might. Miss my class. Mm -hmm. Miss my class. Mm. Okay. Or I may not be on time. So look at this. My class starts soon, but I'm not sure. So we're, you're not certain about it. So I'm, I'm not sure where the classroom is. So since I don't know where the place is, so this is the result that I'm going to get. I may not be on time because I don't know the place. Okay. Team one, please. Team one. Sixteen. Okay, sixteen. Let's check. So, can you read that, please? I don't know where my bag is. The last time as I saw it, it was in the living room. Let's see, team, okay, team one. 
ideas, team. I may looking for in the okay in the sofa. Okay, so let's check it. I don't know where my bag is, so it's lost, right? The last I time I saw it, it was it in a. Uh -huh. it, it, may, it may it may uh, is on sofa. Julio, Julio, okay, Julio. It may is on the television. Okay, so let's check. The bag might be in the living room. Okay, so I don't know where my bag is. So it might be in the living room. Well, you were close. You were mentioning the sofa. Let's see. Team two. Team two. Number 10. 10. Okay, so let's check. So when might you get a new job? Guys, team? I might... I might to go to the job in weekend. Mm, so look at the question. When? When might you get a new job? I might. Uh, uh -huh, I next, might. Year. next year. Next year. Okay. So I might uh, get. I might get a new job next year. Okay, team one, go ahead, select any number, eight. eight, okay. So you win 50 points, okay. <laughs> okay, so team two, go ahead, your turn. Give me a number, guys. Oh. Two, okay. So where might you live in 10 years? Where might you live in 10 years? I may live in, in 10 years in Canada. Canada, okay. So I might live in Canada in 10 years. Very good. Team one? Seven. Seven, okay, seven. It's 9.30 and Jack feels tired. 9.30. Nice I may go to the bed. He may go to bed, okay? So, yeah. I go to the Good. Bed. He might go to bed. Uh, team two? Number four. Number four. There are some dark clouds in the sky. It's um, night. Mm -hmm. It's my um, may. Okay. May. It, it might or may? Uh, might. Okay. May. May, may. It may rain. Awesome. Very good, Rosa. Team one, go ahead, team. 14. 14. You sure? Yes, Veronica? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I should go to work today, but I feel a little sick. I may don't, I may you know, not, go. I may not. Don't go to work today. Okay. Awesome. I might not go to work today. Right. Team two, please. Pick a number, team. 12. 12, okay. Kelly and Jenny are friends, but they live in different cities. They will both travel to Washington this summer. So what's going to happen? Do you think they're going to meet?
um, they might. They might. Uh, go to travel to Washington this summer. Okay. Let's see. Lady, do you have any other possibility? They might. Como decir que van a finalizar cansadas. They may be tired at the end of the summer or in the summer. Well, at the end of the summer. Okay, but look at this. Kelly and Jenny are friends, but they live in different cities. So they don't live in, in Washington. They will both travel to Washington this summer. They may, they may. They so may what are they going to do in home. Washington? Home. Okay. They may see each other. So that's why yeah, that's what it is going to happen. Okay. Team one, please. 13. Okay, let's see. So give points to team two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe teacher. <laughs> Only five. Okay, <laughs> five points. Team two, let's see. Sara has some money and she's at a clothing store. What do you think, guys? Sara has some money and she's at a cloth, clothing store. She might buy clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, it, we're not sure about it, okay? Well, it can be may or might, so that depends, right? Because in this one, I think it could be possible or less certain, okay? Very good. So let's just check. Um, I want to check something with you, and it's about the pronunciation for may and might, okay? May, and this is might. So may, something like this, right? May and might. May and might. So don't forget that. Okay. So we're doing awesome. Okay, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Just help me and say present. Okay. Let's see. Let's start with okay. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Carlos Miguel Present. Lumaña Lobo. Thank you, Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta Present. Ramos. Thank you. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Okay. Okay, um, please try to activate your cameras. Okay, recuerden para la asistencia siempre la cámara encendida, chico. And say present, please. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Present teacher, solo que estoy como oyente porque tengo una emergencia. Okay, Fernando, thank you. Jorge Luis Castaneda Martinez. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. 
Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joanna Hernández Ventura. Present. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Calves. Present. Thank you. Oscar René Molina. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Angeles Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, guys. So let's continue. Okay, so we're gonna check in today's class some vocabulary related to, um, well, terms related to font, uh, refunds. So we're gonna start with the first one. Uh, look at this. The first one says profit. And the second one says auction, currency, <coughs> and return. Okay, profit, auction, currency, refund, and return. So we're gonna check the definitions and later on we're going to do the match, okay? Number one, let's, uh, Veronica, could you read that please? Number one, definition one. Veronica Burgos. Yes, Veronica, yeah. Okay, number one, profit. No, the definitions here. Okay, the system of money that a country use. Okay. Uh, allow it? Yes? Us? Yes, please continue. Okay. A sum of money that is paid back to you, especially because you pay too much or because you return goods to a shop. A public sale is which things are sold to the person who offers the most money for thing. The money that you make is in business or buy silly things, especially after paying the costs involved. To bring, give, put, or send something back to somebody, something. Okay, nice. So look at this. Uh, right now, I want you to check that definitions again, and I want you to try to match that. Profit, so what's profit? So I'm just going to help you with the first one. So what's a profit? Guys, so what's the definition for that word? So what's profit? Mm -hmm. The system of money that a country uses, a sum of money that is paid back to you, okay? Especially because you pay too much or because you return goods to a shop. A public sale in which things are sold to the person who offers the most money for them or the money that you make in business or by selling things. So what do you think? So what's profit? Any idea? So what's profit? No? To bring, give, put or send something back to somebody. Mm. Something. Okay, so let's read it again. Number teacher, I'm the one, two, three, four, the blue, the money that you make is being or by selling thing, especially after paying the cost people, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. So that's profit, like ganancia. So that's profit, the money that you make in business or by selling things, especially by paying the cost in bold. Auction, so what is an auction? Idea. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So oh. let's try, let's see, we're gonna start with currency. I'm going to leave this for the last uh, that we select. Uh, currency, what is currency? The system of money, a sum of money, a public sale, or to bring something or give something. Mm -hmm. A public sale. 
in which things are sold to the person who after the most money for them. Okay, let's see. Any okay. other ideas? Currency? Right. For example, we have a currency here in El Salvador. Guatemala has a different currency, I think, right? Venezuela has a different currency. So, and they use that money to pay things, bills, food, goods, products. Currency. Uh-huh. Currency. Um, change money. Mm -hmm. That's the money. So what do you think? So what could be the possible answer for currency? So remember that this is a type of money that you use in a specific country. If they don't have the same, well, here in El Salvador, we use dollars. They the system of money that a country use? Uh-huh, yes, you're right. Very good. Ah, well. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And we're gonna check the next one that is auction. So it's a public sale. Um, well, I don't know if we do, if, if the government do this. I have heard that they uh, do some public sale uh, where they sell uh, cars or properties. So that's a public sale in which things are sold to the person who offers the most money for them but I don't know any other place. So I, I have just heard about the government the last year. I think they were selling some cars, some Hilux. Then let's see the next one. So is it clear what's auction mean, guys? Auction. Uh, so was money that is paid back to the you, especially because you pay too much us before you return goes to a shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that is a refund. But auction, auction means subasta. So that is a public sale. And a refund, we have a sum of money that is paid back to you, right? So when you uh, probably you get a, you got the product and the product has a problem. So it works the first three days and during the fourth day it didn't work it didn't turn on the channels and the, i don't know <laughs> the antenna is not working so it's a mess right so you um get, you go and ask for a refund so the money is paid back to you because you pay too much or because there's a problem with that product that you acquire right and return to bring, give, put, send something back to somebody or something. So I just want you to keep in mind that a refund is the sum of money that is paid back to you. And return is that you uh, bring or give the product back, okay? So now let's continue. We're gonna check some more vocabulary related to positive words for customer service. Look at this. Um, we have definitely, definitely, absolutely, absolutely, certainly, certainly, exactly, exactly, completely, quickly, fantastic, great, Marvelous, marvelous. And the next one is excellent. Enjoy, splendid, splendid. And we have essential, generous, recommend, recommend, friendly, impressive, interesting, Brilliant, exciting, like exciting, terrific, fascinating, 
expert, favorite, or favorite, ideal, ideal. Okay, so let's check some of the words. Definitely. I definitely going to buy this product, right? Okay. Absolutely, certainly, exactly, completely, quickly, fantastic, great, and marvelous. Let's see, um, volunteer who wants to try reading the first column, the first column. Me to check. Okay, go ahead. Definitely, absolutely, certainly, exactly, completely, quickly, fantastic, great, and marvelous. Okay. La tercera me cuesta. Number, certainly, 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 certainly. Uh -huh. certainly. 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 So we end with a T, cert, certainly. certainly. And then we have, an, we have an N, certainly. Okay. Definitely, absolutely, certainly, exactly, E, exactly, exactly. completely, quickly, fantastic, great, great, and marvelous. It's maravilloso, right? Uh, Oscar, yes, Oscar. I try. Definitely, absolutely, certainly, exactly, 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 complete, completely, quickly, fantastic, great, marvelous. Okay. Oh, okay, continue. Enjoy, splendid, essential, generous, recommended. Friendly, impressive, interesting, brilliant. No, esa no me recuerdo como dije. Exciting. Brilliant. Ah, brilliant. 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 Excellent. Exciting. 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 Terrific. Fascinating. Fascinating. Third, third, favorite, ideal. Okay, ideal, ideal. Okay, so listen ideal. up and try to repeat that, that. Well, so you repeat that on your own, okay? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, definitely, absolutely, 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 certainly. Certainly, certainly, exactly, exactly, exactly. Number five, completely, completely, completely. Number six, quickly, so quickly. Number seven, fantastic, fantastic. How was your day? Fantastic, right? Awesome, splendid, generous, great, 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 marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. So it's not marvelous. <laughs> excellent, excellent, enjoy, enjoy, splendid, splendid, essential. Essential, generous, generous, recommend, recommend. So we have the apostrophe here, recommend, okay? Recommend, friendly, 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 okay? Friendly, impressive, impressive, interesting, interesting. Interesting, brilliant, 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 and exciting, terrific, terrific, 
So this is a positive word, terrific. So it means amazing or something that is a really good, terrific, fascinating, fascinating, expert, favorite, and ideal, ideal. So we have to add this kind of vocabulary uh, when we want to express um, that we like something, right? Or we want to sell something, we have to use this kind of uh, words, okay? So we're gonna practice for a while. I'm going to give you some time. It's going to be like three minutes. So you can practice a little bit that the words, okay? So just please take a screenshot. Okay, join the breakout rooms, guys, and then we continue. Me avisen si hay alguien que no, no recibió invitación. No problema, no estoy sacando bastante. Yo me saco como cuatro veces. No recibí. ¿Será que alguien más está utilizando el internet? Elena, hello, hello, Elena. ideal ahora yo sí definitely absolutely certainly exactly completely quickly fantastic great excellent Enjoy, splendid, essential, generous, great. excellent, enjoy, splendid, essential, groceries, recommend, 
friendly, impressive, interesting, brilliant, exciting, terrific, fascinating, expert, favorite, ideal. Okay, I'll do. Definitely, definitely, absolutely, certainly, exactly, completely, quickly, fantastic, great, marvelous, excellent, enjoy, splendid, essential, generous, recommend. Essential, generous, uh, recommend, uh, friendly, impressive, Interesting, brilliant, exciting, terrific, fascinating, expert, favorite, ideal. Thank you. Definitely, absolutely, certainly, exactly, completely. Pero si usted le doy ahorita, rápido. Dale, dale, rápido. Okay. Okay. Ya va a venir eh, Carlos y te compras una vez. Ok, está bueno. Ok, definitely, definitely, absolutely, eh, certainly, exactly, completely, quickly, fantastic, great, marvelous, excellent, enjoy, splendid, Essential, eh, generous, eh, recommend, friendly, impressive, in... Okay, thank you. Se le apagó la computadora. Sí, a ver qué le pasó, pero eso se inició. ¿Está algún bajón de luz? Podría ser, si no, algún re, alguna, alguna esto, se llama actualización. Sí, sí, sí. Pero rápido. Sí, bien rápido volvió a cargar. Está bueno. <risa> ok. I'm just waiting for the rest. Ya vienen los chicos. Okay. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, I was listening to some of you and uh, listen up. I want you to pay close attention to this. Um, definitely, definitely, absolutely, absolutely, certainly, exactly, completely and the next one is a quickly fantastic great marvelous excellent enjoy splendid essential generous recommend friendly impressive interesting interesting Interesting, interesting, brilliant, exciting, exciting, essential, exciting, exciting, terrific. So this is class is terrific, fascinating, expert, favorite, ideal, ideal. Okay, so now, guys, let's continue with the class objective. We have a class objective for today's class. Ask what options will you give your customers if a product you offer is not in good conditions? So what are we going to do? Oh, well, the options that you have for a possible um, problem, right? So if the product, it's not what they ask for, if they have uh, something that is not in a good condition. So what would you recommend to the customer? And for that, we're going to study the usage of a modal auxiliary verb, would like or would. 
So that is what we're going to study today. So this um, modal verb or this would is also an auxiliary verb. But as a modal verb, we're going to use would in order to talk about preference. You want to uh, show also desires. So something that a desire that you have for the present or the future. So you're going to express a desire. So first of all, I'm going to show you the structure that we're going to use. I would, you would, okay. he would, she would, it would, they would, and we would. So this is the structure that we're going to use for the affirmative forms. If we add the verb like, we're talking about preference, preference, okay? I would like, you would like, it would like, they would like, and we would like, would. So I want you to pronounce that with me. Would, 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 okay. would, 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 okay, it's something would. like a U-N-G, it's, well, that's the closest sound that we can get, would, 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 mm -hmm. would. would. good, okay, so now let's check, we also have some contractions, the contraction form is the following, I, okay, pronoun I apostrophe D, I, something like this. I, 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 like I. the next I. one, you, you, you. So, what do you think about this one? Apostrophe D, give, give. Shield. And the next one, id, right? Id. You also have they for the pronoun they, they, they. We normally use contractions, so it's not common to use the long form, okay? with, with. So we have long form and we have contracted form. So you will hear commonly that people uh, use contractions. I'd like to eat. I like to eat. Another example, you You'd like to dance. He'd like to help us. She'd like to come with us. It'd like to travel abroad. So it like to travel abroad or it like to let's say to eat a hamburger you 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 they like to they like to stay at home right with like like to go to the mountains okay so we have long form and we have contracted form so remember when we use would like we're going to talk about press references and we're going to check these usages too would 
is the past form for will, okay? So you know that we use this will to talk about future, right? But would is the past form for this will, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to check that later. So right now, I just want you to show you some um, usages using uh, present or future tense. Okay, so let's check. Number one. So what can be used for, for pres present or general desires? Look at, look at this. Or the second one, desires for the future. I would like to take a break. So that, that is my present desire, uh, future desire or wish. I would like to take an Italian class or I would like to travel, right? Me gustaría, querría. So that's the meaning for would. Gusta, gustaría o querría. Take an Italian class. So that depends, right? Because um, I would eat look at this comeria i would dance so what's the meaning bailaria bailaria i would drink a coffee bebería right bebería. entonces va cambiando ahí la conjugación depende del verbo que voy a utilizar ahora so right now we're using it in order to express a preference or present or general desire or a desire for the future. Okay, so now let's check about um, the first one, present or general desire. I would uh, like to take a break. I would like to eat pizza. How about you guys? So I want you to give me some answers through the following link. Like this, yes, well done. Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay, give me a second. So think about now, okay? While I share this presentation. Oh, it's taking so long. So, oh, well, it's ready. Yes, five here. Okay, it's ready. Well, I want you to think about some things that you would like to do. And I want you to write your answers through this, okay? Okay, so I'm going to send you the link and write some activities that you would like to do. I would like to write the verb. So check the answer, the question that you have there. So what would you like to do in the present? Eat, dance, sleep, play. So what would you like to do in the present? So go to the link, open the link. And then you're going to have three spaces. So think about three things that you would like to do in the present. Do you open the link, guys? Rene, Julio, Nilton, Rosa, Veronica? It's still charging. What will you like? In the yeah. mm -hmm. So there you have a space where you have to type your answers. Uh, just uh, write the verbs, just the verbs. Eat, dance, place, for example.
So right now, I just want you to write the verse. Solamente pongan los verbos ahorita. So later on, I'm going to ask you for full sentences. A todos les cargo el enlace. So just let me know. Si no, acá está el código. Yes, no, ahí está el código. Ven, acá está arriba. Uh, Quienes no pueden ingresar ahí, envíen sus respuestas a través del chat de a través del chat de, de Zoom. Okay. Excellent. So we have uh, different answers. Very good. Play it, dance, right? Play. I'd like to dance, bachata, music. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. So if you can dance, right? If you can dance. I like to play them. Okay. Okay, so we got eight. Waiting for your answers, guys. Waiting for your answers. So I like to talk with my friend. I like to sleep. I like to watch a movie. I like to, what else? Rafael, what would you like to do in the present? Okay, speak, write, cook. Okay, dance reggaeton. Somebody mentioned that. That's right, it's done. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. I would like to practice my English, I think. I would like to play soccer. I would like to dance cumbia. Okay. Okay, awesome. Eat ice cream or ice. Okay. Okay, ice. <laughs> okay, we're gonna check um dance reggaeton, dance, play, dance, right? Uh, well, that's curious. Dance rock, okay. Play free fire. <laughs> okay, very good, guys. So now let's continue. We're going to check, continue sending your answers if you haven't finished. So now let's continue the second question. So look at this. So we have a present or general desires. I like to take a break or desires for the future. The next question is about this. I like to take Italian class, an Italian class. But I want you to check the following. I was reading your answers and you were writing something like this. I would like, and you missed the um, infinitive form, the particle too. I would like take. So I would like to take. I would dance. Okay. Notice the difference. Bailaria. But in here, you need the particle too. ¿Por qué necesitamos acá la partícula? El, el infinitivo completo. Porque aquí ya tenemos el verbo. Miren. Me gustaría. Me gustaría que bailar. Oh, tomar. Tomar una clase. Take an Italian class. Or an English class. An, an English class with teacher Arely. Pero entonces acá. Algunos no me le están poniendo el tú. Recuerden que aquí ya tenían el verbo principal. Y después viene un. En este caso, I would dance. Acá no, ¿verdad? Porque acá dance es nuestro base form. Pero nuestra forma va a ser el verbo, el verbo principal en esa oración. I would dance. I would uh, eat. Comería. No es lo mismo como que yo diga I would eat. Let me check. 
I would like to eat. Me gustaría comer. Bien, me gustaría comer. I would eat. Comería. Okay, so just keep in mind that. So now let's check the next question. Next question says, okay. So let me share that with you back again. So open the meeting chat. I'm going to send you a link back again. Okay, second question. So the second question is about um, what would you like to do within the next five years? So what would you like to do? I'm going to send you the link and I want you to give me at least three answers, three answers. Uh, example, so what would you like to do within the next five years? Um, Rafael, what will you do? Activate your microphone. I like to I like to travel uh, Israel. Okay, so you like to travel. I like to study in the USA, in London, in I don't know, in Spain. So remember that you can use contractions. I like to write poems. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but we never know. Okay. I like to be the boss at the company. <laughs> or be the boss, or be a supervisor. I don't know. I like to. Earn more money. Okay, so there you have some ideas. Excellent. We have the first answer. So check the meeting chat. There you have the link. I didn't link lesson in chat. Okay, so let me know if you don't have it. I would like, remember the structure, guys, subject plus. Would plus like, and then you add the rest. I would like to, I like to travel to Israel. Okay. So start writing your, start typing your answers. Teacher, have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, when only uh, would like or uh, would only. Can you repeat your question? When do we use would when, like? Yeah. When? You're going to express a preference or desires or wishes. Me gustaría viajar. So I would like to travel. I would like to be the boss. I would like to be a supervisor. I would like. So that is the when we want to express a wish. A wish. Cuando expresamos deseos. Okay. I don't know if that is your question. That is related to would like. Eso está relacionado con la expresión would like. Porque también lo veíamos con otros verbos. I would dance. Bailaría. So you can use that with um, conditions, with conditionals. I will dance if I were, okay. Bailaría estuviera bien, right? I don't know if that is what's part of your question. No sé si por ahí venía la pregunta. Yes. Uh -huh, about the usage, mm -hmm. present or future decides. Deseo para presente o futuro. And uh, would can also work as a past form for will, but that's another topic. Mm -hmm. So you'd like to drive a Ferrari, Oscar. <laughs> okay. Awesome, guys.
So I like to travel to Australia, Australia, right? I like to travel to, to okay. I like to be the boss of my department. <laughs> I like to travel to Noruega. I would like to travel to Japan, okay. Be careful with the spelling. I like to travel to Europe, Europe. I would like to get a long vacation, <laughs> long, long vacation. I like to buy a house for my son, okay, for. I like to swim on a lake, okay, yeah. I like to retire, right? Look at this. I like to retire next year. I like to work in the US, okay. Okay, very good guys. So we're gonna check back again that structures. And I have read the, um, okay, the sentences. Let's continue. Just let me close that. Okay, poor dear. Okay, would like. So we continue with some other usages. So would like can be used in order to talk about offers, in order to make an offer. So would you like want to be very polite? We use would like to make an offer or to request something when you ask for something, right? Would you like some tea? Would you like a glass of water, please? So you want to be very polite when we use would like, okay? And we also use this with a request. Would you like to write in the essay for me? So that's my request. So would you like, or would you like to do this for me? Or would you do this for me? Lo harías for me? So you, you cannot uh, get married. Would like, right? Will you do this for me? Okay. Lo harías for me? So will you do this for me? So will you So will you like to to help me with this customer? Querrías, right? Querrías ayudarme con este cliente? Podrías? Okay. O te gustaría ayudarme, right? So now let's continue. We have also some more examples related to that. So would you like a glass of water? So what could be any other offer? Will you pass me the salt? Me pasaría la sal. Well, that's uh, actually a request, right? So an offer goes like this. So will you like a glass of water? Will you um, like a sandwich? Would you like to come? So that's an offer, right? So request is this one. This is a request, right? So you're asking for something. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. And we have the last uh, part that we're going to check. We're going to use wood to make hypothesis when we imagine a situation. 
it will be very expensive to stay in a hotel. Okay. Sería muy caro quedarse en un hotel. So it will be. So you're going to use would when you want to make a hypothesis. So it would be very expensive to stay in that hotel, right? I would give you a lift, but my wife has the car today. So what's a lift? Un levantón, right? Un right. So I would give you a lift, but my wife has the car today. Te daría un levantón para mi esposa en el carro hoy, right? El carro. Let's see another example, a hypothesis, guys. I would remember subject would, and later you can add a verb. If I could find her number, if I had the money, I would uh, buy a new car. Yeah, okay, so that's the second part. So let's concentrate on hypothesis. I would help you right so this is what we, we say right i will help you te ayudaría right if, <laughs> if i if. would give you the money if i have uh -huh, if i have <laughs> te daría el dinero but i need to pay the taxes and the bills i would Okay, I will go to the hospital if I were sick. Well, we're going to stay with that three examples, two examples. In conditionals, look at this. Uh, we have, I would give her a call if I could find her number. Le daría, me llamaría, si pudiera, pudiese encontrar su número, right? If I have the money, I'll buy a new car. Okay. I will bring the... Mm -hmm. Any idea? So I will bring what? I will bring the... Okay, the food, if I could cook. Traería, que cosa? I would bring the food if I could cook. And uh, remember something. When we're using these modons, we don't use, um, uh, well, we don't modify the verbs, right? She would... So that's it, right? She would, uh, for example. She would go to traveling. Okay, she would go to the gym if she could. She could. Fast time. Afford it, for example. She will go to the gym if she could afford it. What's the mean afford it? Pay it. If she could pay it, if yeah. she could afford that, the quantity that is required to pay the money. Afford. Mm -hmm. He would um, come. He would come to the company if if he could any idea so what i want you to notice in here is that you can use would with uh, any other modal verb so i would yeah, yeah. give her a call if I could find her number. I would bring the food if I could cook. She would go to the gym if she could afford it. 
he would come to the company if he could drive, let's say. Or he, he would uh, work, for example, let's modify that. Él trabajaría para la empresa si pudiera manejar, right? So there is a condition. And the second one, so we have the same. Tenemos el mismo, una condición acá en la segunda. Si yo tuviera el dinero, compraría un carro nuevo. El orden acá, no importa, puede ir aquí primero la oración condicional, si tuviera el dinero. O podríamos empezar con eh, wood. Entonces ese orden no importa. Ok. Solamente que si usted empieza, if you start here with, I would give her a call if I could find her number, so you don't add a comma. But if you start with the if clause, you're going to place a comma in the middle. Entonces empezamos con la cláusula de if. La cláusula está, if I had the money, tenemos que ubicar una coma acá. Eso es para las condiciones. Okay? Let's check with that case. If I had her number, I, contraction, I would or I, right? I would or I call her. Si yo tuviera su número de teléfono, ¿qué haría? La llamaría. La llamaría, right? Sí. If I had, uh, give me any other idea. If I had, what, guys? Okay, if I had that time to do it, I'd... I do it. Mm -hmm. I do it. Lo haría. Si yo tuviera el tiempo de hacerlo, lo haría. If I had the time to do it, I'd, I'd do it. Okay. Third person, if he had. Gave a chance, so it's shorter. If you have the chance to travel abroad, comma, here, travel. Okay. Te verá la oportunidad de viajar o el chance, viajaría. Okay. And uh, last sentence, if, um, okay, if they have the ability to play chess. Okay, so what's the result? Play chess, uh -huh. chess, ajedrez. Mm -hmm. So if they had the ability to play chess. He could. Play. 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 Ellos jugarían. Mm -hmm. Ellos jugarían. Uh -huh. um, just keep in mind this. So in this one, we're, we're using that with uh, could. Aquí lo estamos, hablando, lo estamos utilizando con could. También podríamos haberla cambiado. Pero eh, modificamos nuestra estructura. Okay. If they had the ability using have and using would. Y acá estamos utilizando modal verb. Okay, so let's continue. And now we're going to check the structures back again. Places I would like to visit. So let's see. Give me one example. So you were writing, you were trying to do it. And the question is, so where would you like to travel? So you wrote some examples in the previous activity. Veronica, at Burgos. I would like to, so where would you like to go? I would like to 
I, I would like to visit England. England, okay. Where would you like to stay in England? In London. I would like to stay in London. Okay, awesome. Julio, okay, Julio, tell us. Tell us a place where would you like to go or visit or stay? I would like to stay of Canada. Okay, in Canada, where? Toronto, Winnipeg, yeah, Toronto. in Toronto. Toronto. Okay, so, and I just want you to keep in mind this. Try to use the contraction, I like, mm -hmm. I like to. I like, to. Mm -hmm. I like to go, I like to visit, I like to stay. Okay, let's see. Um, Rene, can you help us and tell us where would you like to go? Any place? I like to go to Japan. Oh, okay. Japan. And what would you like to do in Japan? What? Tokyo. Ah, okay, Tokyo. Like so you would like to stay in Tokyo? Okay, nice. Let's see, a lady, tell us, lady. Um, I, I would like to Spain. Uh-huh. Okay, so I like to go to Spain. I like to go to Spain. Okay, to go to. I like, I like. So I, I like mm -hmm. to go to Spain. Okay, awesome. So I prefer uh, that you use the contraction, I like. So we don't normally use, don't say the long form because that takes a lot of time and we don't have time. <laughs> okay, well, but just try to use it, right? Because you're going to need it and it's going to make your English fluent. Okay, I like to. Um, let's see, how about you? So we have a um, Rosa. Rosa, tell me a place where would you like to visit or go? I like to go to, go to Brazil. Brazil, okay. So what is a place that you would like to visit in Brazil? In Brasilia. Yeah. Ah, okay. So you, you have thought it, you have thought about it. Okay. Then Rafael, tell us a little bit about you. Rafael, ah, okay. I like to uh, visit uh, China. China, okay. What Listen up, what would you like to do in China? Um, I like to. I like to. Uh, Como se dice muralla? <laughs> Repeat it, please. The Great Wall. Uh -huh, the Great Wall. The Great uh, Wall. wall. Mm -hmm. I'd like I to visit, or I like, like to visit Great Wall. Okay. The Great Wall in China. China. Okay. The Great Wall China. Uh -huh. The Great Wall of China. Okay, so I like to visit the Great Wall in China. Okay, awesome. So let's continue. I have some more exercises uh, to practice with you. So just let me open that. Oh, I'll do it. Okay, so we're going to check the negative form for uh, this. Things I wouldn't like to do, right? So things you wouldn't like to do. So the structure that we're going to use for the, mm -hmm, for the negatives is the subject pronoun, okay, subject. So after that, we're gonna place would plus not, right? So to make the negative. And later you add like, right? So I would not like. 
um, in this case, uh, just remember that it can vary, right? If you're talking about wishes in the present or future, or if you're talking about, let's say, a condition or a hypothesis, well, you can use this structure with like, but uh, you can also use any other verb, right? Like it or cut, for example. And then you add the rest, right? I wouldn't like a cup of tea. You wouldn't like a cup of tea. She wouldn't like a cup of tea. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't. She wouldn't like to drink tea, right? And keep in mind this, I wouldn't like a cup of tea. So it can, but the answer can be right. In, in this one, you have added a noun. I wouldn't like a cup of tea. I wouldn't like to drink tea. It's different, right? So if you want to add an action so or an object in that sentence, then you have to add the infinitive. I wouldn't like to drink tea. Um, we wouldn't like to drink tea. They wouldn't like to drink tea or they wouldn't like a cup of tea, okay? Notemos ahí la diferencia entre esas dos oraciones. No me gustaría una taza de té. O no me gustaría tomar una taza de té. Recuerden que acá puede ir seguido de un sustantivo o de un, aquí un infinitivo, ¿verdad? Ok, so let's continue. Um, Look at the following pictures and think about an answer or, well, uh, a sentence for that uh, pictures. I wouldn't like to picture uh, number one. So what do you think about it? Picture one. So on um, February the 14th, you guys are waiting for your, I don't know, someone. <laughs> So I wouldn't okay. like to wait, for example, spend time, I don't know. He won't like to be alone. Ah, okay. He wouldn't like to be alone, okay. Picture number two. So what do you think about her? She wouldn't. Like to, to cut, to cut, okay, here, here. How about picture three? He wouldn't he like to see the Oh. Ah, okay. He wouldn't like to. René, any idea? What do you think? Picture three. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, picture three. He wouldn't like to. Okay. This one. Uh, Any idea? So what could be? He wouldn't like to sleep. To I don't know. No. He wouldn't like to see the the sun shine. Okay, the sun. He wouldn't like to see the sun. Um, and uh, well, this is just a comment, but. When I got this picture, I read that there is a, well, in Japan, I think, there are some buses that you can take in order to sleep. If you have insomnia, you can go and to this uh, place and take a bus and pay, I don't know how much, and you can sleep during that time. So they go, the buses go nowhere. So if you want to, <laughs> travel to Japan, <laughs> you can pay for that. Okay. 
And uh, look at this. Here we have the, well, the structures that we have been studying, the affirmative, negative, and the question form. So that's what we're going to check now. Uh, can you read, uh, can you help us lady with the question form for a uh, what? Here. Uh, well, I like a cup of tea. Will you like a cup of tea? Will he like a cup of tea? Will she like a cup of tea? Will it like to a cup of tea? Will we like a cup of tea? Will they like a cup of tea? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the same, look at this, would like a cup of tea. So it can be followed by a noun or a verb, noun or verb. So would, uh, would you like a cup of tea or would you like to drink tea? Would he like a cup of tea or would he like to drink tea, right? So just keep in mind that, um, would, it like, um, let's say, I don't know, would, would he like to eat or would, would it like to eat? For example, would it like to eat? Mm, would we like um, a hamburger, a pizza, uh, say an orange juice? Would, uh, would they like to drink juice or something else? Or would they like to eat pizza? Okay. So I just want you to keep in mind that, right? So let's um, check this. The answers for these uh, questions are short answers. Yes, mm -hmm. I would. No, I wouldn't. 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 Again, the pronunciation for this is would, right? Would, would, would. Mm -hmm. So uh, we write that with the W, but it doesn't exist that in English, right? So it's something like would, would, mm -hmm. would, would. No L. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have the sound, but it's not a G like in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Would. Would, would you like to sleep in a tree? Would you like a cup of tea? Mm -hmm. Would, no L, no L. So no le agregamos el sonido de L ahí. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. So there you have the, the answers, affirmative and negatives. Okay, so we're going to... Um, discuss the following uh, statements. So you're going to ask your classmates these activities. Would you like to sleep in a tree? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Explain why to them, okay? So I'm going to give you some minutes, three to five minutes, uh, that's going to be okay. So just please um, access to the breakout rooms and start asking the questions. Take a screenshot, guys. Rafael, no me apareció la invitación todavía. Ya tiene apagado el micrófono. Estoy haciendo la captura. Ah, ok. Sí, ya, sí, ya la tengo ahorita. Voy para Perfecto. Ahí. Thank you. Thank you, Rafael. 
A ver, eh, Diana. Hola, Diana. ¿Está por acá? Rosa. Hola. ¿No les apareció invitación, chicas? No, no. Ah, ok. Entonces ahorita la vamos a hacer que trabajen con él. Okay. Um, would you like fly? Um, yeah, yes, I will. Would you a tree? Would you like to be a tree? Ah, to sleep in a tree. Uh, no, I don't. I will. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. No, wouldn't sleep in a tree. I need to sleep in my bed. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like to sit on a cactus? <laughs> No, I won't. Would you like to a bonus? Mm. Oh, would yes. you like to? Um, would you like a bonus? Oh, okay, see, that's okay. Uh, yes, well. Uh -huh. would, would I like a cup of tea? Uh, yes. Would, solo sería nada más esa respuesta. Yes, yes, yes. yes I would. Yes, I would. Would or no, I wouldn't. Ah. Yes, and subject is would. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, would you like a cup of tea? Yes, I will. Okay. Would he like a cup of, uh, a cup of tea? No, I wouldn't. Uh, he, creo que regresa. Will, will. Hello, Veronica. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. yes. Okay. Nice. We're going to go back and we're going to practice another conversation. Okay. 
okay. okay. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to check the following conversation and look at this. We have the complaint about issues with the damaged equipment. The first part goes in here, the red part. Thank you for calling Claro El Salvador. Hello, my name is, I would like to report a problem. Could you tell me how can I help you? The modem isn't working. Actually, it's off. It seems to be damaged due to a blackout. What's a blackout, guys? Yes, I activate your microphone, but I'll... let me send you a technician to verify the damage. Let me send you a technician to verify the damage. That sounds perfect. In case of a factory defect, we're going to give you a new brand machine or every phone, right? Oh, thanks a lot for your help. So we're going to practice uh, the following conversation in the breakout rooms. I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms and you're going to do that in pairs, okay? So I don't know, do you have any question about the conversation? Questions about the vocabulary? Blackout, what's that? What's a blackout? Apagón. 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 Okay. Damage? Um, Como daño. Un daño, okay. Okay, new brand machine, what's that? Una nueva máquina. A nueva máquina. Okay, so just the last time. Thank you for calling Claro El Salvador. Lady, can you answer? Hello, my name is Lady. I would like to report a problem. Will you tell me how can I help you? The modern isn't working at all. It's off. It seems to be the mesh to blackout. Okay, damage, damage, due to a blackout. Damage, due to a blackout. Let me send you a technician to verify the damage. That sounds perfect. Okay. In case of a factory defect, we're going to give you a new brand machine. Okay. Okay, so thank you a lot for you help. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for your help. Please join the breakout rooms and we're going to practice that conversation just to finish, okay? So join the breakout rooms. You think to add the conversation teacher? Yes, you're going to practice the conversation. I'm going to send you the okay, picture. Thank you. Uh -huh.
lo ve. Yes. Ok, okay. yo soy la azul y tú eres el rojo. Entonces comienzo yo. Hello, my name is Veronica. I would like to report a problem. Thank you for calling. Claro, El Salvador. Ah, tenía que ser claro. <laughs> the modem is, isn't working actually. It's off. It seems to be damaged due to a blackout. How do you tell me? How I how can you help you? That sounds perfect. Let me see you a uh, technician to verify the damage. Okay, thanks a lot for your help. In case in a factory detail, we're going to build you a new brand machine. Usted va a venir ahora el de rojo. Okay. Thank you, Fanny, for calling Claro El Salvador. Hello, my name is Lady. I would like to report a problem. Could you tell me how I can help you? The modem isn't working at all. It's off. It seems to be the mesh due to a blackout. Let me send you a technician to verify the damage. That sounds perfect. In case of factory defect, we're going to give you a new brand machine. Okay, thanks a lot for your help. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, and just to conclude, I know that some of you had questions about these exercises, and we're working on section on, two, okay? Well, if you can open that with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I think that some of you have uh, some questions. So what you have to do here is unscramble the following sentences. Remember to use capital letters and use videos at the end of every sentence or a question mark if it's needed. Change uh, I, these with products. So what could be my answer? So you have to rearrange the sentence. I would change these products, right? I will change this will I will change this product. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have to do. Just rearrange the sentences. Number two, wouldn't we this stay place in? So what could be the correct structure? We we will we wouldn't okay base form this place in this in this in place this in this place okay awesome the next one he okay lie he to would buy again and there he will buy Okay. He will buy. No, he will. He will like. Like what? Uh -huh, like he, he, will he will like to, to buy buy again. Again, there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, to buy there again. Oh my god. So just let's check this. Um. Mm -hmm. okay. In this case, I don't know if, if there is any modification I, because it starts with would, but actually it's an affirmative sentence. No sé cómo se la va a tomar ahorita porque ahí solicitamos el cambio, ¿verdad? Porque aquí le pusieron would, la pista. Entonces, pero uh, it's an affirmative. No sé si ahorita lo habrán modificado o si queda así como afirmativa. 
Okay, and that's part of the um, activities that you have to do for um, homework number nine. So you have to rearrange the sentences and make questions. So just let's finish with this one. You get wood to like refund. Number four. You, you will. It's a question. Like, you, it's a question. Yes. Okay. This will you will you would you, you like like to get like a phone? Mm -hmm. I to get. Would you like to uh, get a phone? Awesome, Veronica. Would you like to get a refund? Very good. And the uh, last one, number five, they like come to hear back wooden. They wouldn't like come to hear back. They wouldn't like come to hear. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't like to like come to come. No, I like to come back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's all. And then you send your homework number nine. Okay, okay, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next class. Okay, so it means tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Bye. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Uh, leave. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay.